Welcome in this new Art Journaling in Motion video. Today I'm working in my Delusion Square Art Journal. It's a really fun one and I was really excited to play in it. As always, I'm using gesso as my first layer. As Dina Weekly would say, it's like the underwear for your art journal and I really love her saying that. Using a fluffy brush like this one helps create a really, really nice texture. Once everything is dry, I decided to go for a few fun colors. You can use any color combination that is calling to you at that time. I usually just browse through what I have and pick three plus white. The white will help the colors to blend together beautifully. And I'm just painting with a square flat brush and it adds texture. As you may know or may not know, texture is really important to me. I just love that. Randomly adding the purple with my fan brush and to be honest, I'm not a fan of that purple, but that's okay. Dry everything, it's really, really important when working with layers. I wanted to have fun and use my embossing powders again. It's been a while since I've been using them and I fell in love all over again. So I'm using the Versamark um, ink that is specific for embossing powder as it's very, very sticky and a border stamp from Christy Tomlinson. What I like about these embossing powders is that they are two-toned. So you can see it's mainly orange, but once it's melted, there is kind of a blue undertone to that one. And I really, really like it. It contrasts very well with the green and yellow of the page. It can take a bit of time to have everything melted, but that's okay. It feels magical to me to see that happen right in front of me. See how beautiful it is? Now I'm just picking my favorite colors of oil pastel and adding some random marks. It makes me really happy. And these three drops are kind of my signature symbols and I love using oil pastel and smudging around them. I add that bit of bleeding tissue paper on my table and thought, oh, well, why not, right? This was the first time using Dina Weekly stamps. I usually don't use faces stamps because I draw my own but I couldn't resist this one and the uh, empowering, oh sorry that's such a difficult word to say, words that is in the set as well. And I'm using my Stabilo pencil that is water soluble that like I use it all the time as you can see it's really tiny now to add the body and some wings and I add these other stamps from Dina Weekly that I really like and I'm using the Stabilo to make it darker. As you can see once you add water it becomes like India ink and it will be permanent. Look at that. Spraying water on it makes me just so happy. I just love it. I wanted to have the art a little bit more dark. So I used some magical mica which or um it creates kind of a watercolor paint that is shimmery. See, it makes it pop a little bit more. Adding kind of stitches and activating it with water. 
This is a stamp by Donna Doni and it says she remained true to herself and I really need that message because it's easy to get lost in oh I should be painting that, I should use this product and lose yourself and to me it was important to remember just be you and if people like it well good if not they are lost that's just fine I love those love that stamp it's slowly coming together take your time adding detail with several pens to the face and for hair I wanted purple to kind of go with the background and I used silk acrylic by Colorheart. It's semi-translucent as you can see but it's really beautiful. I'm using a lead and oil pastel to add that round shape and smudging it oh my gosh you guys I just it makes me happy I don't know you but I love words and quotes and sayings so I have several tabs printed or on my computer with them so I can find what works in my work and this one is in French I'm sorry but it was perfect I hope you liked it and please thumb up to let me know, don't be shy and leave me a comment, I love comments. And subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any new video, bye!